Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Umi Kalsum binti Abdul Karim. Uh, we meet again in the third part of the video for chapter 1, unit of measurement. So in this video, we're going to learn about significant figures and also scientific notation. Alright. So what is significant figures? Okay, significant figures is all digits in a number that are known with certainty plus the first uncertain digit. The more significant digits obtained, the better the positions of a measurement. And the concept of significant figures applies only to measurement. So there are several rules to determine uh, how many significant figures in a, in a number, okay? So the first one, the first rule is that non-zero digits are always significant, okay? So given to you the example here, 26.38. Uh, there are non-zero digits in there. So these uh, have four significant figures. Rule number two, any zeros between two significant digits are significant. So here you have 406, so there are three significant figures. Rule number three, a final zero or trailing zeros in the decimal portion only are significant. Okay, uh, so maksudnya kat sini, we have 35,35,000. Okay. Uh, only have two significant figures, and the other one 35.00 have four significant figures. Okay, maksudnya, uh, puluhan selepas nombor ni, uh, any zeros, okay, selepas perpuluhan, after the small pieces, after the small pieces are significant figures, right? Okay, zero after the small pieces is significant. Right, so here 35.00 will have four significant figures. Compared to this one, there are no decimal places. They have 3500. So this would only have two significant figures. Number four, zero to the left of the non-zero numbers are not significant figures. Okay. So, contoh kat bawah ni, 0 0.00523 only have 3 significant figures. Alright. Next, we proceed in the uh, significant figures in calculation. Okay. For multiplication and division, the number of significant figures in the answers should not be greater than the factor with the fewest significant figures. Okay, maksudnya, bila you calculate tu, jawapan kamu, okay, number of significant figures dalam jawapan kamu, mesti uh, tak melebihi uh, bilangan significant figures dalam soalan. Okay. So, contohnya macam ni, you have 1.827 meter times 0 0.762 meter. Okay, this one has 4 significant figures. This one has 3 significant figures. So, your answer should be reported in 3 significant figures. Okay? Sebab paling sikit adalah 3. So, answer, uh, 3 significant figures. So, answer must be reported in 3 significant figures. For addition and subtraction, the reported result should have the same number of decimal places as the number with the fewest decimal places. Okay. So, uh, untuk yang ni, okay, bila you calculate, jawapan akhir kamu mesti, uh, titik puluhan jawapan akhir mesti sama dengan uh, nombor dalam soalan yang mempunyai titik perpuluhan paling kecil. Okay, contohnya, Uh, okay, ni ada tiga titik perpuluhan, ni okay, dua, ni tiga, ni empat. So, jawapan kamu mesti ada dua titik perpuluhan, alright? So, here, we have 112.1326. So, you have to round your answer into 112.13. Okay, titik perpuluhan dia mesti kena dua lah. Sebab yang paling kecil kat sini, titik perpuluhan ada dua. 
Okay, no, then be cautious of round off errors in multi step problems. Wait until calculating the final answer before rounding. Okay, ni masalah yang biasa berlaku lah. Student, bila, uh, when you do calculation, you have several steps of uh, calculation, okay? So, please, please, please don't uh, run off too early. Okay, bila, uh, bila you buat uh, jawab soalan, uh, hmm. jangan uh, run off too early. Okay, maksudnya, biar jawab, uh, sebab nak dapat final answer, uh, Okay, maksudnya masa calculation yang awal-awal tu, biar jawapan kamu ada at least three decimal places. Okay, when uh, and then bila dapat jawapan final, okay, barulah kamu run off into the correct number of significant figures. Okay, ni uh, ada some exercise. Okay, okay kita yang satu lah untuk nombor A ni, 0.0030. Two significant figures, 0.1044 gram, four significant figures, 53069 mil, five significant figures, 57600 second, three significant figures, and this one, okay, only have four significant figures. Alright, now we proceed to scientific notation. Okay, there are two purposes of scientific notation. The first one is to solve the problem of writing very large or very small numbers. And the second one is to maintain correct number of significant figures. Okay, so um, here uh, I will show you on how to convert the numbers into scientific notation. Okay, numbers written in scientific notation have two parts, which is a stem and a power of ten. Okay, uh, a stem, uh, yang ni lah. Okay, the coefficient and the power of ten here. Okay, this one you have the base. Okay, and then you also have the exponent. So, contoh yang berikut sini, this number is very large, right? So, sekarang susah nak nak tulis kosong-kosong banyak-banyak ni kan? Takut ada error ke, whatsoever. So, we uh, convert these numbers into scientific notation. So, it turns out to be 4 times 10 to the power of 10. So, this is the form of, this is uh, the form of scientific notation. Okay, the power of 10 has two parts. There is a base and there is an exponent. Okay. Uh, so, the base, this one, green color. The base always be 10. And the exponent here. Okay, yang kecil ni. The exponent here is negative 5. Okay. Uh, and then there is a rule. Uh, if the decimal point had to be moved to the left, Okay, if the decimal point had to be moved to the left, the exponent is positive. If the decimal point had to be moved to the right, exponent is negative. So, kita nak contoh eh. You have this number, 0.00962. Okay, you want to turn it into scientific notation. So, you need to move it to the right. Okay, you move it to the right, right? This way. Uh, so, uh, you move it to the right three times. One, two, three. So, that's why your exponent here is negative. So, you got 6.92 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Compared to this one, okay, you want to turn it into scientific notation form. So, you move it to the left. Okay, move to the left. The exponent will be positive. Okay, you move it two times. One, two. So, you will get 7.84 times 10 to the power of 2. Okay. There's another rule. Okay, contoh macam soalan ni. Contoh-contoh uh, contoh ni lah. Okay. You have 32.1 times 10 to the power of 3. Okay. So, you nak ubah titik perpuluhan dia. So, you ubah titik perpuluhan ke kiri. So, you gerakkan ke kiri. Okay. So, as I mentioned earlier, if you move 
to the left, the exponent will be positive, am I right? So, kalau untuk kes ni, if you move to the left, you have to, uh, you move to the left one times, so you have to uh, add one to the exponent. Okay? You gerak ke kiri sekali, so you can tambah satu lah dekat exponent dia. Daripada tiga, tiga tambah satu jadi empat. So, contoh ini, you you gerak ke kanan sekali. Okay, kalau ke kanan, eksponen jadi negatif kan? Tapi untuk kes ni, uh, dia dah ada eksponen. So, apa yang berlaku? Bila you gerak ke kanan sekali, you kena tolak lah satu. Okay, tolak satu dekat eksponen dia. So, negatif 5 minus 1, you got negative 6. Okay, clear eh? Okay. Next, we proceed to the addition and subtraction. Okay. Uh, before you do the addition or subtraction, you must make sure that uh, all the exponents have the same values. Okay. So, macam contoh dekat sini, we have 1.36 times 10, 10 to the power of 2 plus 4.73 times 10 to the power of 3. Okay, before you add this number, before you add 1.36, add with 4.73, you must make sure that they have, they have, the exponent have the same value. So, exponent here is 2, then exponent here have, the value is 3. So, be, uh, before, so, you can ubah lah. So, let's say this one, you jadikan dia 10 to the power of 3. Okay, you nak jadikan dia tambah 1. So, you kena gerak ke... Kanan, ketik uh, pula kena gerak ke kanan ke kiri. Kalau you nak tambah. Okay, you kena gerakkan dia ke kiri. Alright. So, dia akan jadi 0 0.136 times 10 to the power of 3. Okay. Okay, actually you, you boleh tekan je kalkulator dapat jawapan. Tapi this is just for your knowledge lah. Okay. So this is the answer for number A and this one is the answer for number B. Alright. Okay, next is multiplication and division. Okay, when multiplying, uh, when multiplying, multiplying the values of N and sum the values of N. And when you are dividing, dividing the values of n and subtract the values of n. So the red color ni, if you are multiplying the multiplication, you have to multiply uh, the red one. Okay, the red one you multiply and the green one you have to add. For division, okay, uh, you have to divide the red color. And you have to subtract the green color. Okay. Alright, so this is some exercise for you. You can try it. Okay. So, that's all for this video. Uh, I wish you all the best. And I hope you will understand. Uh, try to understand uh, what we have learned from part 1 and part 2 and part 3. Alright, so good luck. Thank you very much.